Do your feet feel like this? With O'Keefe's Healthy Feet Cream, you can get back to having soft, smooth feet in no time. O'Keefe's Healthy Feet Cream is clinically proven to help heal cracked heels and dry skin. It's also non-greasy and absorbs quickly, so you can get back to your day without feeling weighed down. Try O'Keefe's Healthy Feet Cream today and see the difference for yourself. So, starting with Tatiana with She-Hulk, and you know, let me know in the comments what you guys think of these Marvel feet. Tatiana, Arch is coming up first. We honestly got a good one right here. This could be a soul pick. You know, why don't we just go with the souls first? They're right in front of us, might as well be some good souls. I would say they are a bit above average you know they're how would you guys describe these souls i would say they're pretty good because there's no there's no calluses you know maybe the color on them is a bit uneven in some areas that's just going to be the way things go for most people's souls because they're not getting the most amount of sunlight she only has 194 picks i'll give her souls a 6.5 and because like i said nothing too major here standing out no calluses they look pretty overall soft not too many wrinkles as well so let's move on to tatiana for the hulks Arches. that last picture can honestly do for the arches as well but we're going to try and mix it up a little bit another picture not another hitting these shoes does look like it's pressed on some type of glass vice maybe another, a card another, maybe another, another, another. nonetheless the horse does one. look pretty curved I mean, another another one. Right here. probably would be another, and and another the one. water pipe flow pretty well to that and 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 I say with that it's going and to another. give us a good reasoning to give that arch an eight guys okay I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna say you know it's a bad arch when it's not I'd give it an eight and I would move on to our toe because that's what I know you guys are here to see a little blurry but it is a nice up close picture so you know this little gap right here I automatically takes away a whole point that's just not something that you want to see automatically it'd be a nine at the highest i would give her toes honestly off rip i say eight i would say eight and honestly no i take i would say like a seven and a half maybe yeah probably a seven and a half toes look good overall nails might be clipped a little too short the toes just look a bit too bulky so we're going to give the toes with that being said seven and we're going to give the hulks she hulks overall foot a eight and move on to captain marvel otherwise known as Brie larson good pick of the soles right here she's not even scrunching them that much and they're looking pretty wrinkly if you have watched other videos linked up here in the top of the corners if you guys want to check those out you'll know that i don't really care for the wrinkles on the soles there's nothing wrong with them just not my preference when it comes to having an absurd amount of wrinkles if someone were to scrunch their toes but that's not here that's not the case here so with that being said we're going to give Reed larson's soles a eight and take it or leave it. I'm not gonna try to force it upon you. You can rate them yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think Brie Larson's toes are. Now, when I was doing my research, boys and girls, I did come across some pictures of Mrs. Brie Larson's toes, and I have to say, she might be getting the lowest rating on this series ever. Look at that right there. You know, good picture of Mrs. Larson's art. Overall, smooth. Looks like it has a nice curve to it for it to be flat on the ground. Looks prominent. Veins in the foot are prominent as well. I did see, well, that is a thing that they like as well. Veins on a foot. I feel like veins overall in the body are just thing that are you, you kind of have it or you don't and so it's not something that i feel like should be taken into account and so i don't take it into account but with that being said we're going to give brie larson arches seven because they're pretty average i wouldn't say anything special so sticking out to me and so, but ladies and gentlemen it is time to possibly get into the worst ppp rating you will ever see on this channel possible we're going to start looking at brie larson's toes now and brie larson if you see this video this is no disrespect to you i'm genuinely just giving my opinion to the boys boys now, she's saving lives in movies. Is this warranted? Do we give her a pass? No. Matter of fact, we go even harder because what are you doing? You know, it just kind of speaks for itself. We're not going to spend too much time here on Mrs. Larson's toes because we do have somebody who has been searched upon by the foot community millions of times, most likely. Carly Johansson is coming up next, boys and girls, so stay buckle up. Um, but with that being said, Brie Larson's toes are almost undoubtedly the worst toes that we've had featured on the wiki feed series on my channel and so i'm just gonna have to say it how it is boys and girls if i felt comfortable giving them a one or if i if i felt comfortable giving them a zero i'll do that but i don't you know i feel like she deserves some kind of rating um these toes are this is absolutely absurd moving on to the most searched upon feet in wiki feet history and upon the internet scarlett johansson otherwise known as marvel's black widow i'm not gonna lie i'm expecting high things because i've given out from what i can remember a few tens i've given alinity a 10 i've given maddie apatow from euphoria a 10 and so we're just gonna take it step by step foot by foot pick by pick and see where it takes us first we're gonna start with our souls first and work our way down to scarlet's toes and this is gonna be an interesting journey so buckle in we're already kind of getting spoiled right here i'm not gonna lie red toenails red soles to a degree overall right here looking pretty good 
obviously they're pretty they're scrunched up not too many wrinkles looking soft not too many calluses as well and so off this picture i would give garlic johansson's soles a 8.5 and I wouldn't look I wouldn't look back twice. I wouldn't think twice about it, okay? I'd give him 8.5 and I'd give it to her probably. Yeah, 8.5 on the soles. And I say we go into her arches now. Alright, so good picture right here. I would say that the arch is it's kind of lacking. She kind of doesn't have one in a way. She has one. It's just not too prominent. I would give Scarlett Johansson's arch a 6.5 because it's really not there. And I feel like if you took that shoe off, it would be pretty flat. We're going to move on to her toes now. You know, we, we got a lot of pictures to work with here, guys. So first off, off of this one, I'm going to say... I'll, I'll give her an 8 just off those ones. You know, we had some gems to work with here. See, I, I'd call this one a gem, boys and girls. So... This is this is a tin worthy picture. I don't know if it's a picture doing it for me. I don't know if it's the nail polish, but it's something. I would give these like a nine, okay? So I feel like the shoe uh, probably has something to do with it more than I'm aware of subconsciously, but that's okay. This one right here, absolute doozy. Foot, feet, sorry, feet looking great in this picture i would give them a 10 I'm not even gonna lie and overall we're gonna give scarlett johansson's feet a 10 you know i think we just gave out our third 10 in wiki feet history boys and girls so so like and subscribe if you guys like feet